leyes cambien, cuántos muros construyan. La realidad es que no podrán detener el progreso del latino. Este es nuestro continente. Tres mil dólares nos cuesta cruzarnos México y llegar hasta Texas. Si nos va bien empezamos limpiando mesas. Si nos va mal terminamos tras la reja sola mira no regresa. Tres mil dólares nos cuesta cruzarnos México y llegar hasta Texas. Si nos va bien empezamos limpiando mesas. Si nos va mal terminamos tras la reja sola mira no regresa. O hacia los estados. Good morning. I'm Jennifer Martinez, a student of Latin American culture. Today we have. Um, a person in charge of the film Words of Revolution. This person is. My name is Junior Gonzalez. I'm from California, and I came to New York uh, today to screen my film here at uh, Nassau Community College. I believe that's that's how you pronounce it, right? Nassau. Yes. Nassau. Sorry about that. So I'm here visiting and screening the film today. So how did you feel about this film? You think it's going to be? How you think? What's your main like? thought about this uh well the main thing about the film is just like you know hopefully spreads where like you know i'm showing a different side of a culture and most of all just showing positivity and 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 i'm trying to do that through music and trying to entertain and try to touch like the younger generation so that they can kind of kind of you know somewhat uh experience the film okay ahora como todo comenzó pues uh todo comenzó en 2005 um, no había mucho cosas pasando en la cultura salvadoreña y, y cuando encontré un festival que, que celebramos nosotros el día de los salvadoreños um, encontré gente que estaban cantando hip hop y pues como yo me para mí era 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 como you know I was just experiencing the whole different thing and then what happened was um, me gusta la música porque yo crecí con hip hop aquí en Estados Unidos. So vi que hay, I don't, you know, there was like similarities to the music and I just like, I had to experience it and I had to like videotape it, you know, like record it and see, see how that could develop into a story. And then once I found out what the film was about, I mean, I'm sorry, what the music was about, it was nothing but positiveness, and uh, I had to like somehow make that into a documentary. Because yeah, you're showing with images, where you can say with words, right? Definitely, definitely. So um, that's that's another style I use for the film, because you know it's words, revolution. It's what you speak, what you say, and I guess it's how people will respond from that, you know. So. And why why you choose like to come here to Nassau Community College? What was special about us? Why you want us? Why you want students to know about this? Like young people, like what's your main target here? Um, def definitely there was like a Salvadorian theme here, so I definitely wanted to uh, like touch a community where, you know, there's such a big community here and that it exists here, and on top of that, like I said earlier, there's hardly any like books any films like anything on the educational level that kind of demonstrates for this for this uh latin group you know and uh and I, I think with the help of like you know like films art and stuff like that a culture can grow and, and this goes on with other cultures as well not just salvadoran cultures it's like all immigrant groups you know so that's i want to make that clear because it just you know this film just happens to be a point of view of a salvadoran but definitely this is like touches every culture that's true, I can say that because I'm from Dominican Republic and I feel like that was like an amazing job. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, why why you like to, to send uh, messages to kids, to young people? Why especially? I want to know why. There is a reason why and I want you to tell me why. Uh, definitely because, you know, this is the new generation started starting you know and it's important for them to kind of uh, lead the way you know because I think in my generation uh, we raised the Bajo Mundo generation um, you know we were here kind of figuring out things you know just because of the circumstances where our parents came from you know through a war they came here and you know there was no like easy settlement here you know there was a lot of struggle 
and uh, I think that generation, which I'm the second generation or first generation, um, I think it was like a struggle just trying to figure out identity, who we are, and stuff like that. And now this new generation comes, and you know, there's a new wave where they can start and feel more comfortable about identity, about culture, and also just like learning from other cultures as well. And that's how like a community grows. Muchachos, ustedes están haciendo un trabajo especial, un trabajo diferente. Ustedes están haciendo un trabajo lleno de amor. Puedo ver la unión entre ustedes, la unión entre el grupo. Puedo ver que todo trabaja en una forma coordinada. ¿Qué lo mantiene a ustedes unidos? ¿Qué, ¿Qué lo mantiene a ustedes así con ese, con ese amor entre ustedes mismos, con este amor por mostrarle a la comunidad la realidad de hoy, de hoy en día? Pues la realidad es que, pues necesitamos más cosas que tú sabes más libros más películas y no hay y es un gran grupo que existe um, so es importante que, que enseñamos que hay otras cosas que podemos a, a demostrar y, y, y enseñar gente que hay gente que está haciendo películas que está haciendo arte y que está haciendo música es un diferente lado porque la mayoría, a veces, la, la media siempre um, enseña cosas malas, tú sabes, los pandillas, uh, enseña cosas de, los, uh, de la guerra, de la guerra, y, y quiero cambiar eso. Esto es un mensaje de esperanza, palabras de revolución, un grupo que ha tratado y está tratando de cambiar la perspectiva de los latinoamerica, latinoamericanos aquí en el, en el país. Eh, estoy muy orgullosa de que ustedes sean latinos, igual que yo, y estoy muy orgullosa de que ustedes estén trabajando con personas jóvenes, con personas que están saliendo ahora, porque esa es la esperanza del mañana, esa es la, ese es el futuro. Eh, para mí es un placer. No, no, gracias, gracias para estar aquí y por favor, el mensaje es siempre el futuro, siempre cuida a los niños y el futuro de, nos, de, de ellos son muy importantes. Muchas gracias desde Nassau Community College, es Jennifer Martínez. Tu continente. mil dólares nos cuesta cruzarnos México y llegar hasta Texas si nos va bien empezamos limpiando mesas, si nos va mal terminamos tras la reja, sola mira no regresa, tres mil dólares nos cuesta cruzarnos México y llegar hasta Texas, si nos va bien empezamos limpiando mesas si nos va mal terminamos tras la reja, sola mira no regresa o hacia los estados, algo y sin un centavo adiós me